the dark side of the moon. For most of our existence, what's there has remained a mystery. From Earth, we're unable to observe it, but between probes that have recently been sent to orbit the moon and lunar landers, we've discovered something strange beneath the South Pole on the dark side of the moon that was completely unexpected. While it's only been recently that humanity has placed objects back on the surface of the moon, like China's Chang'e 5 landers, and now NASA's Artemis mission soon sending humans back to the surface, for the last 50 years, we've been sending probes to orbit our closest neighbor. Through these probes, we've been able to map the entire surface of the dark side of the moon. We now have full elevation maps and temperature maps of its surface. And what we've discovered with these findings are a number of very odd and unexpected things. The first is that we've discovered that the moon's crust on the dark side of the moon is much thicker than the crust on the side of the moon that faces us. While this non-uniformity isn't particularly unique in the universe, let alone in our solar system, it does lead to more questions as to why. One of the prevailing thoughts is linked to a massive crater near the South Pole on the dark side of the moon. Surprisingly, this is the largest crater on any body in the entire solar system, planet, or moon. It's called the South Pole Aitken Basin, and it's about 2,500 kilometers across and 12 kilometers deep. Scientists believe that the asteroid that hit the moon did so about 4 billion years ago and was about 170 kilometers wide. The blast from an asteroid that huge would have been about a thousand times bigger than the explosion that killed the dinosaurs. But its size isn't the only thing about that crater that's surprising. There's something beneath it. NASA's Grail probe discovered an unusually high source of gravity right beneath the crater. And when something has more mass, it has more gravity. So scientists are wondering if the iron core from that asteroid that hit the moon billions of years ago was thrust beneath the surface of the moon and is still there today, essentially giving the moon two cores. But that's not the only thing that NASA is looking to uncover on the moon. Also, at its south poles, there's craters that are in perpetual darkness. Within those locations, orbiting probes have detected frozen water. One of the objectives of the NASA Artemis mission is to eventually harvest that water on the moon and use it to synthesize fuel for rockets attempting to turn the moon into a fueling depot. And we have a long way to go until NASA places a permanent lunar base on the moon, but the roadmap has been set. Learning more about our closest neighbor can and will unlock further mysteries about the formation of the solar system and our own planet that have been previously left unanswered. Each discovery leads to a new path of knowledge, a path that will hopefully lead us to understanding more about our place in the universe and also how we came to be.